All right, so first of all, tremendous turnout yesterday. I apologize in advance for not having a larger space. Um, never would have dreamt that we'd have the number of students stop by that we did. So incredible turnout. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you for understanding. Appreciate all of that. All right, so what do we have going here? Panther Esports, this is a new endeavor here at OTHS. Uh, part of the process of starting something like this is on this slide here. How do we start a new club at OTHS or activity or sport, whatever we want this categorized as, um, and why are we meeting today? So here's, here's what we're talking about during the meeting. First of all, the process. In order to start a club or activity here at OTHS, it has to come from a student's perspective, student's idea. Um, and that's what it did. A couple of years ago, I actually had a student come to me and want to start this. We just didn't have the energy or the steam behind it to get it rolling, uh, but now we do. I think a lot of the right things are in place for this to be something awesome. Um, so a student came to us, had as an idea uh, about starting this esports team and what an idea it is. And I think it's fantastic. It gives us an opportunity to provide uh, a new thing for students to try. Um, probably things that we're already doing already, but just under the umbrella of the school. And uh, let's see how competitive we can get with it. So exciting that the student brought it to me. Um, and I'm, I'm honestly flattered that they thought of me um, and glad it's working out now. Second thing we have to do is find a sponsor. That's why I'm here. We also have Miss Christensen who has uh, volunteered to do that. So if you know Miss Christensen, she's at the Melbourne campus. Uh, she's been tremendous in helping out with this as well. Uh, next step we would have to do is submit this idea to OTHS administration, which we did, and they gave us the approval to start the interest level meeting, which is what we had yesterday, and this is a continuation of it. Um, so that's where we are. We're at number four, initial meeting to gauge the student interest. So far by the number of signups, we have over 150 students have signed up, which is awesome. That's more than we could have ever imagined. Um, so the interest is there. So what's next? We will take this idea to the Board of Education. They have a meeting next week. Hopefully we can get on the agenda and get this thing rolling. Um, what they will look for is student interest, whether or not we have enough energy behind this type of club and activity. And then it's kind of on them to decide whether or not we want to pursue and go further with this. Um, so that's, that's where we are next. If you have not yet signed up, please email me or scan the QR code that's at the beginning of this presentation, this one here. Um, if you scan that QR code, it takes you to a form and you can officially sign up. If you've already signed up, great. Um, but if you haven't, we need you to sign up so that we can include you in all further communications. Um, so I believe that the Board of Education will, I mean, their student center, they, they will see the need and the desire for students to have this club. So we're excited where this will go. Uh, what this club will look like. So we are looking at having two aspects of this club. The first one is a casual side of things. Maybe meet a couple times a month where we just get together and, and have, have an event. We play games together, uh, whatever that looks like. Uh, maybe we have events with games specific. Um, really, it's a student-centered club. So whatever ideas students have, they come to me um, and we will we'll do our best to meet what the students want. So that's the casual side of things. Just get together, have an event, play games together, and have some fun. Competitive side of things is a little bit different. This is where we will actually compete against other schools. So when we have games, for instance, that we will, that we will compete against, um, we will form a team. We'll have tryouts and we'll have the best five, six, seven, whatever that game particularly requires. We'll have the best team move forward and compete against other schools. So it'll be a process. There will be, there will be competitions. It's just like a game in any other sport. You want to send your best competitors out there to the, to the field and um, see what we can do against other schools and go from there. You'll see on the right-hand side that uh, the IHSEA is Illinois High School. Uh, eSports Association. We will compete throughout the season under that category. There's 12 games that they have that they'll compete in. I'll talk about the games on the next slide. Um, and then when it comes to state finals, it's through the IHSA. And they're a little more limited on games, but uh, we'll compete under both organizations so that we have more opportunities for the students. Uh, that will make more sense going forward. Once we get uh, the Board of Education approval, we'll uh, hammer out all the details and we'll be sure to get that to you. Um, but that's what it looks like. Casual versus competitive. Casual is more fun. Competitive will be where we actually will have state finals and things like that. Um, what equipment do we need? That's going to be the big hurdle. We have, uh, obviously you guys know that we have uh, the need to have computers. We'll have the need to have consoles, um, 
keyboards, mice, headsets, all of that stuff. And starting from zero, that's going to be a challenge. So we'll have to do some fundraisers, maybe potentially uh, the school can set aside some funds to help us out. That's the, that's the goal. That's the hope. But we'll have to see where we go. Um, a lot of people have asked, can we bring our own keyboards? Can we bring our own peripherals? Yes. Once we get everything up and rolling, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. But I don't see why not. You guys are comfortable playing with what you're playing with, and um, that will be not an issue. So equipment's something we're going to have to, uh, to do some research on and fundraise for and get because we're starting with nothing. Um, and then games. Games is a big question here. Uh, a lot of a lot of students are excited about what games we'll offer. Now, we are not limited to these games, but these are the games that we can compete in in the official capacity. So those games are Valorant, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, uh, Overwatch, Pokemon Unite, Rocket League, Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Fortnite, Apex Legends, Splatoon, and League of Legends. These are all games that have the appropriate ratings for where we want to go with it. Uh, these are games that are approved to compete in at the IHSEA level. Um, so we'll start with these games on the competitive side of things. Have a lot of students reaching out about other games. Any other games I welcome, um, but understand that we will be limited as far as the competition goes. So those games that you guys suggest that aren't on this list, we will potentially do casually. Um, and so... So look forward to that, I guess. Um, if you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me. My name is Daniel Cox, Mr. Cox here at OTHS. My email address is coxd at OTHS.us. Please, please, please sign up on that form that's at the beginning, and we will go from there. One other thing I want to let you guys know about, and forgive me while I pull this up, um, but I want to let you know that in the near future, we will be hosting one of our, our first big events will be uh, a Mario Kart tournament. So let me pull up that Mario Kart tournament flyer and show you exactly what we're talking about. So this is the flyer for it. This is the QR code for you guys to sign up if you're interested. How this will work. So Mario Kart, we've all played on the Switch, hopefully, or other platforms if you were prior to the Switch. Um, but how this will work is this is going to be like a month long tournament. So we don't have, I don't know, maybe over a hundred people competing. This will work by, we'll start off with several weeks of time trials. What will happen is you'll sign up for a date and a time. You'll stop by my room at Smiley sometime after school. You will do a time trial on Mount Wario. Um, and that will be how you will compete first. So these time trials, once we have all the students do the time trials, all the competitors do a time trial, we'll list those in order from fastest to slowest, and we will take the top 16 times, and they will come back on May 8th, I believe it is, and uh, they will compete in the Panther Center. So 16 students, it will be bracketed down, eight on one side, eight on the other, 4v4. Uh, those students will compete until we have a 4v4 championship. So, and then in that, uh, in that aspect, uh, the, the prize will be one of those Mario Kart trophies that you see there on the right hand side. And then also you'll get to take that trophy home with you for the first, second and third place winners. Um, but the overall winner will get their name engraved on a championship belt. That's a Mario Kart championship belt. And we will have that in our eSports lab in the future with your name on it for the OTHS championship for 2024. And then hopefully this is something that we can do each year and crown a new victor um, each year. So it's something to look forward to. If you are interested in this, all right, I am going to put the all the details, the specific details on, um, on the website um, with the rules and expectations and all that. Um, here's what those rules and expectations, actually wrong one, um, but here's what those rules and expectations will uh, look like here as I pull this up. But um, this will be on the website that I provide for you guys, and um, you can read through this. These are all, we're going to charge $10 per entry, time trial entry. Uh, you can do it max, max two times to kind of put a limit on. But if you want to start practicing, 150 cc's, Grand Prix, all right? Um, the time trial will be at Mount Wario. That is the uh, that is where the time trial will take place. Mount Wario. So practice on that one. And then when we get to the 16 uh, 16 bracketed players, 
Round one will be at Mushroom Cup, round two will be at Flower Cup, and the finals round will be in the Star Cup. So I will have this information on the website. Uh, included in this email will be a link to that website so you can sign up, get all the details. Uh, but exciting times here at OTHS. So once again, thank you for your interest. Thank you for being involved. Thank you for helping start this amazing opportunity for students. Um, I think it's going to be a great thing. Uh, it's going to be awesome. So far, the turnout and the interest has been amazing. And uh, we will go forward from there. So appreciate you all. Have a great day. Any questions, email me, Mr. Cox, um, here at OTHS. So until next time, we'll see you.